identify the four solids shown below. So this one over here, they haven't specified it, but for the sake of this video, we will assume that all of these edges of this, of this figure, of this object, are all the same length. So this edge is equal to that edge, is equal to that edge, is equal to that edge. All of these are the same length, and that they're all at right angles to each other. And if you have something like this, you have a cube. You have a cube. A cube, you essentially have six faces that are all squares. All of the edges are all the same length, and they're all sitting at right angles relative to the other edges. So this right over here we would call a cube. The most common, or one of the most common cubes that we see in our everyday life are the dice that you would play with in, a, in your standard board game. Now this thing over here, you have this round base, and then it points upwards. It looks a lot like something that you would put ice cream in if you were to flip it over. So if you were to flip it over, you could put some, you could put some ice cream in it. I'll draw some ice cream. So that's, that's maybe we'll maybe we'll do multiple flavors of ice cream. You could put ice cream in it, and we would call this, we would call this an ice cream cone. And so that's a big clue that this is also, this is also a cone. It's also the shape of the hats that a gnome would wear, or I guess there's other types of cones that we could think of. A teepee is also a cone. Now let's think about this one right over here. You have a circular base. So I kind of assume that this thing is transparent, that you can see through it. So if it was made out of glass, you could see this bottom base. If it wasn't, you wouldn't be able to see it. And then it has a circular top right over there. The most typical thing in our everyday life that we see like this would be a soda can or a soup can. And so this is called a cylinder. This is called a cylinder. Cylinder. You've probably heard the word cylinder before in the context of cars. You might have a four-cylinder car or a six-cylinder car. And that's because the actual chambers where the fuel is exploded are shaped like this. They are cylinders. And so a four-cylinder car in its engine literally has four of these cylinders where an explosion takes place. And that explosion actually pushes up a piston. And that's what actually drives the car. Well, that's not the point of this video. But that's why you, people say, I have a four-cylinder car or a six-cylinder car or an eight-cylinder car or whatever. And then finally, we have this thing over here. We have a bunch of edges that are all at right angles to each other. And every face here isn't necessarily a square. It looks more like every face here is a rectangle. And so this type of thing, that's, it has a lot of the properties of a cube. Every, 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 uh, every edge is at a right angle to every other edge. But instead of every face necessarily being a square, every face over here is a rectangle. You call this a rectangular prism. Rectangular prism. Now, you might be saying, wait, wait, Sal, isn't, doesn't a cube meet all of your constraints for a rectangular prism because aren't squares also rectangles? And you would be right. A, this thing right over here could also be referred to as a rectangular prism. But calling it a cube also lets us know that all of the faces are, are, are the same. They all are squares.